hello hello guys happy monday please like and subscribe to my channel press the thumbs up key for me it's not that hard <laughs> okay um one question i'd like to start this off with one question why isn't russell simmons in jail First of all, where is Russell Simmons? I saw somewhere where it said that he went to um, Bangladesh. He left the country. They said he left the country when um, all the accusations started coming out about him. He uh, put his businesses in a different person's name under a different identity and left the country. That's what I was told. Then I saw his little girl on TV who just left for college and um, she went online and she was showing her dorm room and stuff and some one of the someone in her uh, on her feed news feed asked her where was her dad did her dad come to see her off excuse me and she said yes which uh, I guess he's he's sneaking around I guess he's trying to avoid um, going to jail I guess or going to court or whatever because he was accused of a lot of shit but anyway that's not what the topic is today I just had that question why hasn't he something why hasn't he gone to court why hasn't any charges actually been made against him um, there's been a lot of accusations but um, never any charges uh do you do you guys realize that when he started screwing with kamora lee she was only 15 and he was 30 did you realize that my question to to people that do that is like where are the parents of these kids and, and how is it that all these pedophiles have like easy access to all these children. I don't, where are the parents doing all this shit? That's what I want to know. I mean, there's no way in hell he would have access to my daughter, especially alone. There's no way in hell. So I'm trying to understand this. Why is it that all these pedophiles like Jermaine Dupree and all these people have easy access to children? I have no clue. I just, I don't understand that. My psyche can't, I ha, I, and I have two kids, two girls, and ain't no way in hell they're going to be left with any goddamn body. So I don't understand this. Anyway, um, <clears throat> did you guys hear about um, the lawsuit Byron Allen bought against uh, Comcast? Let me turn my car off. Okay, I'm not fully like, I'm not fully educated on the subject at hand, but this is what I get from it, okay? This is like a brief summary of what I got out of it. I don't have the big words and stuff. <laughs> you know but um i broke it down to like simple to make it simple okay what's happening is byron allen he used to be a comedian back in the day however i haven't heard anything about byron byron allen in all these years since he was a comedian that's the last time i heard anything out of from him i thought he was a retired comedian i guess i don't know do comedians retire <laughs> but anyway from my understanding he has become a tv a television producer a founder and chief exec executive officer of the u.s television production company entertainment studios which that's a big move from being a comedian you know and he accused comcast of racial bias and bought a uh, bought a lawsuit against Comcast, a racial discrimination case, and it supposedly had went before the Supreme Court. 
I don't know what happened, what's going on. It's all of this is going on right now as I speak. Um, he claims that Comcast refused to license his company's channels uh, because he's black. He's claiming that uh, Comcast discriminates against minority owned programming in its licensing agreement. Pretty much he's saying that the Comcast company treats black people different than they treat Caucasian people. Okay, does that sound new to you guys? Because that don't sound new to me. Did he just figure this out? <laughs> Seriously though, I mean, we are in the United States. We are treated differently, people, by businesses, by the hospitals, by everybody that's Caucasian. We are, we are on a level down here and, and the other people are up here. Nobody, I mean, damn, this is not new, Byron. Is it that you're bringing the lawsuit against them because now it's affecting you? Have you never experienced uh, being racially profiled? Is this your first time ever being treated this way? Like less than? I mean, damn, where have you been, Byron? So now all of a sudden it's affecting your life and your lifestyle and your businesses. So now it's a problem. But it's been like that since the first black person, person's foot touched the USA. It's always been that way. Okay, so why are you suing them now? They're affecting your money, right? Okay, so now it's a problem, Byron. Byron Allen, who's married to a Caucasian woman and has Caucasian kids. Okay, Byron. Okay. I, I get the gist of it. Okay, maybe this racial shit, maybe you thought since you were married to a Caucasian woman that, um, um, you had special privileges that most blacks don't have or maybe you have had uh special privileges being married to a white woman that we don't have and now they said fuck it and they started treating you like they treat the rest of us so now it's a problem when it affects you when racism affects you now it's a problem right so now you want to sue comcast for doing shit that every caucasian in america has been doing to us. Now you want to sue Comcast, right? <laughs> You're funny. I mean, Negro, you are funny, okay? But let me tell you something. I don't roll with um, Sean Combs. I don't like his lifestyle. But I must admit that I was very, very, very impressed with what he's done lately. See, what Comcast did was saying, Comcast bought, well, I didn't even know Diddy owns some type of a uh, company called Vault or something. I don't, I forgot what it's called. I might be wrong of the name, but he owns some type of a uh, TV station somewhere. I can't remember the name of it, but, or a company that's on Comcast, Diddy owns. And what Vault did in the lawsuit was say, um, that's not true. We're not uh, racially uh, biased uh, towards black folks. Uh, we got Diddy on Comcast. We have his station on Comcast, which is equal to saying, oh, no, I'm not racist. I have black friends. <laughs> that's hilarious to me. That's his, that's the same as just saying that you know what i'm saying so they try to throw diddy's uh channel in there saying that they're not racist because they got diddy on there so i'm so proud of p diddy because diddy sean i'm not gonna call a grown-ass man diddy or p sean combs 
comes back, when he got word of that, I guess he had his peoples write this long, very professional, well thought out letter to Comcast. And I'm at, you know, to make things short, what he said was, leave my name out of your mouth. <laughs> Ow! He said it in a professional way, which was, the letter was like, so perfect. So I'm very proud of Diddy. Very proud of him. I mean, I mean, so proud of him for that, really. He didn't have to say shit, you know what I'm saying? But when I see unity, and I don't even think he met the letter as as like to try to um have Byron's back. I don't think I don't I don't think that was his reason for having the letter written. I think he just says, I don't have shit to do with this. Leave my name out of it. Leave my name out of it. And I think he was like fucking offended that Comcast had a nerve to use him as an example. You know, they never contacted him. They just used his name as an example, as an example. And I would be pissed off too. And, and like I said, that he was mad, but I don't think he was mad. Uh, like, I don't think he was trying to have Byron's back, which he should not. I don't think he should, but it looks like unity. You know what I'm saying? And anytime I see that out of us, I love it. And I, I love the professional as professionalism that Diddy used to respond to that. And um, it was a beautiful, beautiful thing. I didn't know Diddy had it in him. <laughs> I'm serious. Um, although I disagree with his lifestyle, uh, hey, you really like hit a home run on this one, Diddy. I mean, really. And um, he just, you know, basically to make a long story short, he just said, keep my name out of your mouth. Um, I don't agree with anything that you're doing. And it's true. Uh, your your company is pretty much racial, racially biased towards black folks. I agree with that. And um, then he went on to some other things that I understood, but I can't say because he used such big words i was like oh wow you know <laughs> wow but you guys should check it out because it's it's like awesome really and that's gonna go down in history uh, it should but yeah i was like well okay cool you know um i think diddy did a great thing um We all know that we're discriminated against and at every level in the United States. So what I'm saying is this is not new. I'm saying um, they're trying, I think Byron is trying to um, make this about all black folks, I guess in a, in a way, in a way, this is about black folks, but I don't like how he's using us. He's using us, um, I don't even know what the word it is I'm thinking of. He don't care anything about us. By, that, let's not make a mistake. Byron Allen don't give a fuck about black folks, okay? Never has. If he w did, he would have married a black woman. So he don't give a fuck about us, okay? But now he's in need of some f of us to have his back. Sort of like O.J. Simpson. O.J., you're funny, though. You're my boy. But um, now he's trying to include black folks in his life, Byron Allen, because he needs somebody to have his back. Let your wife have your back, Byron Allen, okay? I'm running out of time, so I I have a lot more to say about this, but I'm running out of time, guys. So, listen, enjoy your Monday. Um, thank you for joining me this morning. I love you guys. Toodles! <laughs>